What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial today I'm gonna show you how to tame an animal Basically he will have two states, one chasing you and one you stationary It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started But first check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need so you can check it out right now through the link in the description. All right, so to begin with, as you can see, I have this simple pig AI where he will just patrol around, okay? Running around the level. And if you're wondering, I do have a tutorial on a simple animal AI, which I will be linking in the description and you can check it out to have this as I do. But basically what we need to do now is that if you, you know, get close to it and interact with the E key, you will basically pet him right and tame him and now he'll be chasing you around and then we can also interact with him once again once he's tamed and he will switch and toggle between stationary and chasing you just like in minecraft for example so what we're going to do now is go to our animal ai blueprint which in my case is just this uh, very simple pig and we are going to add a new component which will be a sphere collision so basically this will be our trigger to be able to interact so if our player is inside of this trigger which we're gonna make bigger with this radius value we can interact with the pig and now let's make sure that the collision is set as overlap all dynamic all right so now with that what we're going to do is go to the third person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint that you're using and in my case I'm going to add in the graph an E key. Let me just add it. There we go. Of course, you can add whatever key you want. And basically, we're gonna make a for each loop. And we're gonna loop through all the get overlapping actors. So that way, if our player is inside of this trigger, it will be overlapping and we will detect it. Okay. So now, with that said, what we can do is add an interface. So we can interact. We could technically just go and cast to BP animal and then execute the code from here, but casting will be very necessary. We can do an interface to have things more organized. So what we're going to do is go to our content, right click, go to the blueprint category and create a blueprint interface. Let's call this something as BPI underscore animal. And this is what we're going to be using. So once we open the interface, you can see that it will create a new function. Let's rename it to something as tame. And then we will create another one, which will basically be, uh, you know, toggle states, right? You know, being stationary or chasing you. We can even leave a space if you want. And now with that said, we don't need any inputs or outputs. We can just compile, save and close. And now what we need to do is add this interface to our animal blueprint so let's go to class settings and now in, in interfaces we can just add bpi animal and now as you can see we have two interfaces that we can add our logic but we'll do that in a second first of all let's go back to the player blueprint and we will add a does implement interface node so if this actor that we have interacted has this you know interface that means that we can interact with it because it is an animal and we're gonna go ahead and just go drag it and call the tame interface and as you can see with this way we do not have to cast directly to the bp animal and then call the tame from there we can directly just get any actor and call the interface function and if it does have the interface it will work and if not it will, it will not as simple as that so that way we have things more balanced so let's go now to the animal blueprint and in the events graph, let's double click on tame and this will add an event where now we can execute the code. So what do we want to do here? Well, basically we want to now chase the player. So first of all, because my uh, animal will be wandering around, I'm going to get the character movement component and basically stop the movement immediately. Okay. And once after that, I will do a AI move to node as I have also up there. And what pawn do we want to move? Well, the pig itself. So let's do self. And then the destination we can leave empty because we want to go to an actor. What actor? 
well it will be our get player character and that way it will go ahead and follow the player and then we can add some acceptance radius basically the distance that it will stop maybe like 200 so it will not get so near to the player and then on success what we can do is add a bit of delay of maybe like 0.5 seconds and then we will repeat the loop so we can just go ahead and just create a custom event which will be um <coughs> follow a player <coughs> and then it will you know plug into here and we will just go follow player and this will be a loop we could even just separate this so just get this break it plug this here and call follow player from here it will be a bit more organized and now we can just get this drop it down and put this here so when we tame it will stop the movement and call this follow player kind of logic and it will be in a loop because once it finishes it will call it once again and now you will see that this will actually go ahead and work so if i now go and press e boom he stops and now he is following me and if i stop he will stop and then he continues to follow me so that's cool everything is working we just need to do one last thing for this tutorial and it's to you know if we interact with it once again we will basically um go ahead and you know um make it stationary so he will stop like he will like kind of sit down without an animation and then if we interact once again he will follow us once again so let's go into the bp animal and let's just right click create the custom event and uh sorry we're not creating a custom event because we already have a total states function from the interface so in that way what we can do is add a new variable which will be tamed so when we tame it it will set this value to true and i put this here and then on here what we're going to do is <coughs> uh just again stop the movement and he will stop because we will add another one which will be a uh, follow player <coughs> and this will be set to true once we tame the animal and basically if we are on here when we toggle the states if we are following the player we will stop it we will stop following the player and we'll set follow player to be false and he will just sit there but if not what we will do is call follow player because now we want to call follow player once again and set following player to be true so we basically will be switching right if we are already following the player we'll stop the movement and set the variable to false but if we are not following the, the player we want to follow the player and set this variable to true and now we just need to call this event and a way that we can actually do this is not from the player because we already are kind of interacting with it but what we can do instead is from the animal and call its own event but with that we wouldn't need an interface we could just do a custom event so another way that we can do this is just calling also here the uh, switch event but the first time we would not like um to try with it so i would not like that so i like better the second approach which is to go here and in the event team make a simple branch over here which is if we are not tamed so not boolean we'll go and tame it but if we are tamed indeed or well, let's make it simple and just create the custom event and this will be toggle states ai let's plug it here delete this interface we don't need this and then here toggle states ai and we can actually go to our interface which is here and to remove it so all the logic will be from the pig ai so now we can go press e he'll follow us and then he will stop he didn't stop why this is because he has <coughs> the little um delay and it will call again follow player so before following the player we need to make sure that we still have follow player to true if not we don't want to follow the player right and now yes we can tame it 
he will follow us we can go here press e he will stop and now we go back press e he should chase us again and then again we can stop it and then make it chase again so that's it guys if you found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate it like the video and subscribe to my channel a lot of unreal engine 5 videos and tutorials so check them out you have access to the profiles through patreon or youtube members so link in the description join my discord server check out my new course in that to be how to make a game in unreal and um follow me on my socials and now yes for what i said bye bye